That's our go to school dance. And kids, it's time to go to school with another fun experiment in science because our science mom, Jenny Bailiff, joins us now. And Jenny, I understand ping pong tables, toilet paper rolls. You've got some really cool items to, to demonstrate today. I do. So we were just talking about wind and there is some really fun science you can do with wind that you can make inside your house using a hairdryer. I will point out that I put duct tape over this cool shot button here to make sure that the air coming out is not hot. And if you want to experiment with this and try this at home, please do the same thing so that you don't accidentally burn your fingers on the hot air. Now, if I turn on my hairdryer and I put a ping pong ball over the top, watch what happens. Okay. <laughs> and the question is, is it being pushed up or is it being pulled up? And if you try it with a ping pong ball that got stepped on and is not perfectly round, you'll see a very different effect. Check this out. Our stepped on ping pong ball did not work. And the reason why a ping pong ball will float here so nicely is because of the Bernoulli effect. You have low pressure on all sides holding it in place. And it is being pulled up at the same time that it is being pushed up by the low pressure of that fast moving air. I'm gonna show you three super fun variations that you can do with this. The first is that I can make the ping pong ball drop without touching it, just by disturbing the low okay. pressure that is on top. Check this out. It seems kind of like a magic trick because that ball fell without wow. even touching it. But it wasn't magic, it was science, and it was just me interfering with that low pressure on top. Now, the second trick you can do, which is a lot of fun, is to bring a toilet paper tube over the top of the ball. And I'm curious, tell me what do you think will happen? Okay. Oh, wait, so right now, I'm gonna guess? Have my I'm, ball like, floating, I'm like so I'm gonna bring watching. The, okay. And I'm gonna bring the, to the, the paper ball, tube over the, the top. Tube. Do you think it'll get it's stuck in the tube? It's gonna suck it up into the tube. Yeah. All right, let's find out. That's all. Science novel, best subject. Now it goes so high, it it's, hard to, it's hard to appreciate when I'm here by the camera, but if you use a paper towel tube, it'll actually go up and hit the ceiling. So longer tube, it goes what? even higher. And then the last little experiment that you can do is to try putting multiple ping pong balls on at the same time. Can you get two of them to float together? Can you get three? And you'll see that there's an interesting way that they interfere with each other when you add another ping pong ball to the mix. Can you do more than one? You can, let me show you really fast. Okay, I'm putting her on the spot. I'm like, I wanna see more. <laughs> wow. They dance around each other and depending on how strong the air current is in your hair dryer, sometimes you can get them to dance for about five or six seconds, but usually one of them will make the other one fall out. It's a lot of fun to play with. I'm just telling you, Penn and Teller are getting nervous right now watching this, knowing <laughs> you, you should go be on the next episode of Fool Us with your tricks. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I hope that our, your, our viewers will enjoy playing with some science today. And again, make sure that you put some tape over that cool shot button so that it's not hot because hair dryers can get hot enough to sort of deform your ping pong balls unless you press that button down to make sure the air coming out is cool. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Jenny, thank you so much. You really, you're, every time we talk with you, you always have something very interesting and you really do make science fun. So we appreciate oh, your time. You. Oh, appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for having Jenny. me on.